Hello and finally welcome back to my own Murphy Vlog, at least for this one time for a lot of it, it quite a bit to chew on. So before I get into it, I should probably mention that a few um a few friends of mine have started a Milo Murphy podcast, specifically around like theory and stuff around the show, but it's a funny kind of thing, so it's not too they don't you know, you know, it's not one of those kind of thing theory thing, it's more for fun. They got um uh, young Goldie, it's got got naughty and um, the color person, blah, 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 cool. Well, I'll, I'll link to that in the description. The girl got being cool, and who knows? But, um, <laughs> but, um, you know, that I believe they came from distance in between the previous Marvel vlog and this one, so might as well. And, um, I'm pretty sure it's at least half the cup of code, so. <laughs> so, there we go. So, anyway, go, today, we have our first hour-long special thingy. That's probably the first episode that is longer than 11 minutes in a 40-minute slash hour-long special thing. That's crazy. Um, but, um, now, I'm not going to compare it to us to call it to you, know, to have that, because we kind of go a little bit different purpose, so, I'm going to compare it to it. So, we have Mixing Milo, written by Scott Peterson and Joshua Pruvet. But I got that right. Um, no special opening like that. It actually just like it had the theme song. It just start out basically normally. So yeah, so no special opening here at ten. Um, okay. So oh boy, the plot. Okay. Um, okay. So this has to one point. I'm gonna come back with a couple of one. So I kind of have to bring it up. And speaking of which, I will get into some spoiler for this. So something I like to talk about. So I'll tell you when I get into. Spoiler specifically, and you could just skip to the time when I do a wrap up because I'll probably I'll give a bit of good feeling and stuff like that before I can get the spoilers. Okay, so at the by at the end of a cup two, there's this pistachio plant, and the radioactive blob thing gone onto it, I guess, and it basically glowed green at the end of the episode, which they had a the end sign. I don't think I mentioned that in the the vlog for that one, but. That happened, and a lot of people speculated that something about like potential people could happen because a potential person was spotted in the Velomic and in the background, and people went, Whoa, what is up with that? If people call it that, and went, and that's the part of this one. Basically, did Cash Dakota, Potential Person, wave up into Milo, and it, basically they asked Milo, Are you trying to have a little cage? And kind of go, Nope, <laughs> and they kill that. They completely kill that. They actually become friends, and become friends eventually, but um. Okay, um, um, okay, so, through that, I can't even remember, they, um, go to the future, having fought, they, 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 with the potassium, potassium plant and stuff to finding out that it exists, and they basically got carefully protected and kind of tell Brick, hey, um, um, we protected it, but then they can come go wrong with him, so they go to the future, only find out that future is taken over by Pistachio people, led by King Pistachio, which by Reese Darby, I can't think of his name, which, by the way, uh, that podcast predicted that he would, you know, I guess he had some connection or something else, um, that's why they guess he would be, but we have with all the Pistachio that predicted going here out of the 10, like, that. Oh, they're running the pod right now, they're just rerunning this, because yeah, they from there at 2KM, so yeah, everyone can wake at 2KM. I talked about it before, to that goalie. <laughs> mm, I wonder if she'll make it this far anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, so, four minutes for me to talk about the plot, that's kind of, that's kind of everything, but, but anyway, go back to the bacon thing. Time. Potassio people and they must stop them. Go, go off the bat. Looking pretty good. Um, I will say it wasn't great. Like, not that particularly wrong with it necessarily, but it definitely, I don't because of the, um, plot that's been and nothing particularly emotional. Not a cute moment, but nothing emotional. Like, I think even I could find more emotion than that. Uh, looking better, but I mean, that has more emotion. That kind of would be the idea of. Uh, basically, I imagine this is going to be 22 minutes, but I figured, nah, it made it longer, because it just kind of feel like that, rather than calling it a 5 40 minutes in, to begin with. Yeah, but maybe I could have. I don't know, I mean, 
I can highly enjoy with the vlog. I feel like a quick dent a lot of this in the 22 next time. Oh, kind. You know? Yeah, you could have. I don't know. Um, but who knows? That physical universe where that happened would be a lot weaker. I don't know. Um, we don't know, but I feel like I'm glad with what we got. This one's mostly a comedy and action based one. And uh, for that, it's pretty good. It, it, very funny, definitely. There's a few times where I think. I can find some of complain to big California joke a couple times. Like, D.O.G. D.O.G.'s middle name is Ex Machina, and they have to explain it, like, right? Like, they, met, they just barely mentioned that, and then guy goes, wait, his middle name is Ex Machina? I'm like, better if he didn't explain that. Yeah. I think that joke was clever enough. Um, don't you get involved with one of the most awesome things in the episode? I don't know that. <laughs> um, but, um, We've got a lot of jokes here, particularly, and I got a few other times where it's playing, like, we do it, like, we got a few times for our pair, I think we do, um, with, but if one of them, they basically go out of way to find, hey, hey, I, I did that, I was reading that happen, and I get that part of the joke, but I'm like, I think it's funnier when they did a time trial product, country, and they lampshaded the fact they just committed a pair of time trial, do you, do you create a time paradox? Like, yeah, funny, when it happened, I'm like, oh my head hurts, <laughs> I predicted it. They bait for the time paradox thing we do, where, where I'm not gonna spoil exactly what it is, but it's first of like thirty minutes kind of thing. And in that first one, when it got up, it is so obvious. They got up and catch away. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know what's gonna happen. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but it's like, yeah. But um, the other one I think looking you know, really good. Lock the cameras and whatever. They. They are my favorite character, they get a lot of chemistry here. They got chemistry for coming up here, and they look a bit where they try and turn up flirting, like, nope, no chemistry. <laughs> the end of that, shipping. <laughs> Not that people aren't gonna ship anyway. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's got a couple of, you know, it's a good part of that, but it's pretty good. Only one song, and it playing while they're working on trying to find metal. By the way, it sounds a little weird, because Milo's not mixing to us. We were following it for most of it in the supply. And I can look at him and Leo Kara, um, trying to find him. We're making to them, but not us. Yeah, because I think we could have worked Perry. I mean, I think Milo didn't charge me in Africa. I have a great book of joke about that, but no. Um, but I took a time trial action. They only go to the future, and um, there's a one or a couple of other minor bits of the past in some way. But I forgot that there's a lot of time trial antics. But um, um, there's a lot of confusion, though. You know, I mean, uh, I love King Kardashian, he was by me, I get it, he's very funny, and he definitely having a lot of fun, and, and Kardashian people get a lot of great jokes, too, um, so, like that, and the cover, like, a little bit cooler, I think, I can't pull a lot of jokes, but they're some funny ones, um, I like my time, Paradox, Land, Shade, Hanging, and, um, it's a cover tidbit, um, I like that, we're watching a lot that we're not going, I go back there, I'm going to learn to fly with, uh, flying pants. <laughs> I mean, um, or get just a bunch of sheep walk cycling. It, it's not the sheep part of it. Um, but, um, yeah. We're going to definitely, we're actually doing a lot of fun action in here. And now we're going to go get something to do. And, um, and it's really cool, like a part, like, by leaving the battle behind, we have to deal with not. It. And it doesn't get dramatic necessarily, but it's cool to him try to. Get through Becky Murphy Law without my bad back, and that is really interesting. Um, I, I think that's pretty cool. And, um, again, the character gets the remote. So, the Chinese is like a community, community moment, it's there. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, again, in terms of picking like Ego 22 out, we'll kind of add a little bit, because we are from part where the character is kind of like running around, you know, or something like that. But I think that's fine for the episode we're going for. I was expecting a little more major of view thing and like emotion. Um, I want to make a clip thing by the way, which don't take a toll on it again, but I can't find one thing that I could plan, but I'm I'm gonna get to boy and only spoil certain things. Well one particular thing I definitely wanted to discuss I find really cool. Uh, interesting, weird. Um but yeah. But I'm probably not getting a whole lot, but I'm not counting that one spoiler, it's not a whole lot too. Okay, it kind of is what it is. They run around trying to talk to people, and they're going to 
I'm making jokes, you know. And we're going to have a nice bonding with Milo and uh, the two. Um, my parents don't show up, by the way. Um, three some characters up here. Um, Elliot, for example. Um, but, yeah, that guy, that guy, parent up here. Which, uh, I do find weird, but again, find no room for them. Now, I'll go more Kong, by the way. That one Kong was good, but I feel like. And it ended before the Google again. I had to but. Again, we can't have everything. And they reference Lama Conquer when they. One point to go back to Lama Infinite. To explain why that's actually broken the bear. Yeah. <laughs> that really spoiled me, since you know we're going to end up there anyway. Um. But yeah. Pretty enjoyable. Again, it's mostly action. For that, it was, it was pretty enjoyable. It didn't blow me away. It didn't come and go, well, like, there are a few uncle moments, but that thing made me go, whoa, you know. Took a enjoyable thing. It's more of a. Pretty enjoyable type thing, it's been great. So, yeah, I know I wasn't going to, get, I wasn't going to compare it to any of the things from Petal, but it can't pay in comparison to most of the of emotion. Because, like, being a little consistent and entertaining, I guess it's a little more consistent and entertaining than a couple of the lesser ones. But, I would. I'm still riding God with me, but I'll go finally with um, um, But, yeah, obviously. But, it pales back into all the other ones, I think. But, this is my little first. You know, and I feel like they didn't want to start. Hold on to you. They were reluctant not to start the special uh, on a high note. Nothing to compare. Go here, but on a calm note, so we can build on and do some better stuff in the future. That one not become so far. To you, we want to back far. This one, um, there are a few better ones. Uh, going with a reference from the couple code. So, nope. They only, no, no, we didn't finish the first reference from here. I'll begin with, I'll get to that. Um, um, I'll get to that at the very end. Um, the, uh, no major one, I'm expecting some major stuff, but now we got one or two small ones. Ducky Mo up here, I was expecting some big, but, uh, we're straight, that's good. Um, so I like that. But yeah, bench were primarily not highly local, so don't expect coming hugely grand. I mean, it took a scout, it got that, but it was like the actual story and the emotion. Not much of that. Took a lot of time, found sanity and fun, and if that's what you're looking for, can go ahead. It's very entertaining. It's writing is very good, well, in a lighter sense, because it's just, it being entertaining. Come really time out well to an extent, but definitely, in terms of like building the war stuff, definitely a big one. And now at Milo, now Cash and Coda, they pull it really fun to know, and they pull it really fun to too, but I think it's good enough to apply it. And, um, you know, as Dakota, might be a little early, they know that he's a good guy, and now we're buddy buddy, so hopefully that'll lead to more interaction in the future. <laughs> and, of course, that, um, I, I do wonder if it could be on special for the finale, because things will explode in the finale, according to Dan Sloppy and other people. Go, yeah, go, they're making a the But anyway, now on to spoilers, so, I'll just probably, hopefully, timestamp. In the description to where one guy can't spoil and go here to where they end. But um there's going one particular thing I want to spoil. I don't even want to really mention the ending. Um but the ending was really good. Well that part one of that part actually. Um anyway, so so now you all probably gone or found the video. So basically okay, okay, um so we finally get to see Orton Malkin, aka Dr. Zone in the fragment. So far, we haven't seen an actual actor outside playing Dr. Zone, and that's one thing that's kind of a bit interesting to me. And of course, people become a bunch of theory involving him anyway, but um, which is yeah, cool. Um, you know, basically, uh, I can circumstance, um, I had to hurt from all this, um, but basically, we find out that through some um, change of events, Milo, Cash and Coda, at some point, they meet again and they go back to time and fire Orton to create Dr. Gong. He's the creator of Dr. Gong, too. But I still find it strange that he, um, in the every iteration of Dr. Gong, from the black and white to the present, uh, not pregnant, but pre black and white into whatever they are watching in the movie, um, he looked me at game. He had not aged, even though he is clearly old now. Uh, I felt time trash and nagging there. Mm. But yeah, it turned out only we get out to go create because um Catherine Coda inspires them and he remembers her name. Um 
that pretty big. I don't know what I have to like say about that, but I think that's pretty big revelation. You know, turn out that they ain't fired up the gun. That could try to try to pair off Um, because, you know. Yeah. But, um. Still find that pretty interesting. No time is going to come for that, because we have no idea how much time they bum. And there's another thing where apparently Milo and Gink to go in that last episode and get to latch. <laughs> Um, up good, but I thought that could be it from the cup good. Nope, at the end, everything all getting wrapped up, and I'm going, huh, I haven't gone there yet, nor did I give you this letter 50 years ago that Orton put to give to you now. Go, what kind of time thing getting gone on over yet? That's me, basically, okay. And, yeah, I'll go back to the revolution that, but nope, I cliffhangered it, so hopefully we go over with that. The game can't see in front of me, but we all whatever stuff we're up now. So, that's the main point I want to talk about, what Orton thing. I think it's pretty cool. Um, that, you know, we finally get to Orton pregnant and we get this revelation about how Milo is actually inspired up the gun to go out and really cool. Um, that's the one point I want to mention. Um, very good cliffhanger. I think it's a pretty good cliffhanger and I like the way they defeat Potassium. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, and awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, there's probably other McLean thing I didn't mention, but both of thing I thought were mattered. Um, but yeah, that's the point I wanted to mention, so go ahead and guard bank quickly over now. 15, 40, give me there. Okay, I'll just tell me a timestamp now so I didn't forget. Um, okay, um, um, but there you go. There's Mick King Milo for you and the point of going out over if you get to the point. Um, but yeah, pretty enjoyable. It's not hitting a god type of code, but it's pretty funny. You know, for what it is, you know, and it's not too much wrong with it. You know, it's kind of being funny for the show and for having a few times where they kind of explained the joke. But they've done that before, so. But yeah, pretty enjoyable up code. But before we finish the call guy, I should probably point out, speaking of things for a reference, because they basically at Con Con, they basically now official Milo Finney of Quackler for 2018 early King and 2. Now, that piece of news from the beginning that this was inevitable. And of course, I kind of have, you know, we're just happy that things will be back in some way. Then also, I'm like, uh, yeah, again, I do, I still think, I'm glad this can be early King 2 in 2018, because we still have at least half a year before, you know, yeah, do that. And um, I'll probably talk more thoughts on that as we, Get further to it and from the VR for that. I'll keep doing the VR until the show, until the show I'm watching are over and what I'm going to cover. Um, I'm going to keep doing them in terms of the show VR, so I'm probably hopefully doing it into 2018. Yeah, we're going to have time to do them. Um, I, I'm definitely excited. Um, apparently, it's going to, my old art from the beginning, I've been leading up to it with my point of reference, you know. <laughs> And, you know, and I come out of a little weird. Conquerors tend to, you know, even bigger one like the Power Card, and Conquerors will the your show. So you don't need to watch it to understand the plot either. Unless you're talking about, um, we're going to take a on 10, where you have to watch part two. But we have catching to understand how Clay Bailey got together, but that's another story. Of course, I mentioned it. <laughs> and all of this. Um, but yeah. I feel like we need to learn more before I can really judge this. I think I think it's better to find out how it's going to go to my arc. I would prefer if it's a one-off thing. I don't affect the show, but I still I still think the idea is really cool. And it's coming in early 20, in like 2018, probably summer 2018. Yeah, summer event. And that's just going to be probably push that around so much and I'll get air in the summer. You know, because that's the thing we like to do. But there you go. There it is. Called the Milo Murphy Finney of Clock Over in 2018. Early King of Two. And I can't wait for it. Hopefully, it turned out good. Milo Finney of Power Hour. <laughs> Finney of Milo, whichever you want to go with. But there are Pink and Milo. Pretty enjoyable. I, I mean, didn't get much of a firewood, but I got a spoiler. And, you know, it only had to long because of um, detour. But um, 
I think you were a thing I forget to mention, like, with Pentagon, I forgot to mention Bill Nye in that one episode. Well, that's my priority. Oh, well. Speaking of which, um, no idea why I'm coming back. We might have a new one already, I don't know. We have no idea, hopefully in August, but uh, we'll see. So, that's now PVLog on August 5th, which is in two weeks. Uh, three weeks from now, that'll be coming back. Um, and, um,. And that thank you for your update on Monday, which will start the final week of both vlogs. So, yeah, I'll give you an update. I'll get this on P, no idea for Milo. And for first impression vlog, I believe that tells next. Um, you know, there you go. Um, next August 12th. Next, you know, it's going to be a few weeks. So, not to look forward to. Go. So, Going to be back with my first vlog, even if I'm happy while from back again. Um, yeah, go to Picky Milo. We found a. <laughs> found him. Get good caught with found Milo. <laughs> mm. But there you go. Um, pretty enjoyable stuff, and I shall see you Monday for everything that's in fire. I can make sure to look into the show, my good wrong, that my best podcast, and long you nor come the audition that they have. <laughs> but, you know, they're not professional, so. Go, so I shall see you next time.